morning guys. It is a beautiful day in Cape Town. Unfortunately, it's Raya's last day today. She is heading off to Bali though, so I mean, I'm sure she's not that sad. Um, I am heading off in a couple of days back to the UK, but we thought we'd make the most of our last day. We stayed at this really nice hotel, the 12 Apostles Hotel, and look at this view that we have. This is just incredible and we've just sat down for some lunch. This is the vegan high tea. We've just been brought this platter of incredible food. How, how is this all vegan? Look at all the chocolate and stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And this is hummus, and this is like an assortment of different sandwiches and stuff. Cheers. Okay guys, I haven't had a chance to vlog a lot today. I've been running around frantically because I've actually moved my flight. I was due to fly out in a week, but decided to fly out tonight at 11 p.m. So I've had to quickly figure everything out, um, tie up all my loose ends. I went over to Manenberg, hung out with Nick, who's editing the documentary, and we just went through everything, checked I'd done everything I needed to. One of the big reasons I haven't been daily vlogging is I've been shooting a lot of the, um, the inter the kind of the interview stuff which is like the I guess the reflective stuff about what we got up to over the three months uh, apparently now we have nine hours of footage of me sitting being interviewed about the trip so hopefully Nick will be able to pull out some juicy moments to use and uh, yeah then I went to Orms to pick up some different camera gear that I'm gonna need for the cycle ride anyway now I'm packing um, I've got so much to sort out in the next hour before I head out and uh, also, I am going to go and spend some time in Nick and Ange and Sai and Jesse and say goodbye to Jesse. I've been, I've really bonded with Jesse this trip. He is an awesome little baby. Can't wait to see him grow up. Um, I feel like I'm kind of his honorary uncle. And um, yeah, so it's weird leaving a place like this after being here for so long. But you know, back on the road. Um, this time though, I've, I've got just way too much stuff, like way more than I usually travel with because I've kind of been collecting stuff here. I did a few different trips where I was bringing new things down. So I've ended up with, and I've also ended up with this. This is Raya's spare stuff that she couldn't bring um, to Bali. So I've, I've just got like, so that's not my bag, but I've got like one bag of tech stuff, which I'm gonna have to try and take on as hand luggage. Uh, and then I've got a bag here that I'm gonna be putting all my clothes and other stuff in. And then I've got this bag. Uh, <laughs> Oh, guys, if you can, just travel light. Don't do what I've just done. I've got too many things. Jessie's standing up. Come on. Yes, Jessie. Yeah. Standing up and dancing. Yeah. Dancing, 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 dancing. Jessie. Come on, walk here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, boy. Yes. Go, baby. Go. Jesse. Come on. <laughs> Jesse. Come on. Up. Jesse. Up. Come. Ah, oh, you're so close. <laughs> You want it? Hey. You want to be a vlogger? Come. Come, walk to daddy. Come, walk to daddy. Yes, yes, yes! Yay! This, guys, this is literally like some of Jesse's first steps. I don't know when you can officially count it. I guess yeah. you can. I guess this is kind of... Come. Jesse, are these your first steps? Come here. Jesse. Dada. Come to dada. Hey. Oh. <laughs> We're educating Jesse with some good music. Little shout out to Tom Mish. Jesse isn't even one yet and he can ride a skateboard. Check this out. Yes, Jesse, get it. Get it. 
Get it. Yes. Go, Jesse. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Jesse. Push it. Push. Yeah. Well, I managed to pack all my stuff eventually. It was all a bit of a rush. Um, jumping in the car, Nick thankfully dropped him in the airport in time and I'm all sorted now, I've calmed down. Um, it's weird to be going back on a, um, onto a plane after being grounded in Cape Town for so many months. It's kind of weird. Raya was saying the same thing when she flew to Bali. She hadn't been on a plane for like two and a half months. Uh, I don't think it's been quite as long for me, but yeah, mad. Um, so I'm going back to London so I can train this week. If you haven't seen some of the other vlogs, like the live stream or the, um, the video when I announced what I was doing, um, basically on the weekend, so in like less than a week's time, I'm gonna be cycling from London to Morocco over 19 days. So I'm gonna go back, do some training in London, acclimatize to the weather in Europe, and um, yeah, I guess catch up with some friends and family and stuff. Um, yeah, I am sad to be leaving Cape Town, but I'll be back, I'll be back soon. Oh my gosh, guys, I almost got busted then. So I've got like way too much luggage, and I always try and blag it, but today they must have spotted I've got two hand luggage, as well as two checked in bags, and this bag is really overweight, like triple the allowed weight. Anyway, they were asking to weigh it, and I was like, oh no, like, it's full of fragile camera equipment, because it is. And uh, thankfully, got away with them not weighing it, and they let me on. That was a close call. Okay guys, we're a couple of hours into the flight. Um, it does feel a bit surreal that I'm finally leaving Cape Town. Um, yeah, it was all, it was kind of a bit sudden, you know, I didn't even get to say goodbye to a lot of people and um, yeah kind of weird but uh, I do need to get back and do some new things and um, I think the other thing kind of being based up somewhere where I wasn't kind of exploring like I normally do and you know having adventures in new places all the time it was a little bit more difficult to um, I guess make daily content and obviously I was spending a lot of my time working on the documentary as well and organizing things um, I'm not going to commit to daily content moving forward um, because I think it's a bit healthier not vlogging every day. But I do want to up my uploads and um, try and get back on track. So even though today hasn't been massively eventful, I still wanted to just get back in the swing of vlogging everything and just chatting to you guys and um, not waiting until I'm doing something cool for the day. But you know, just taking you guys around like I always have. And um, yeah, hopefully there'll be, now that we're gonna be doing some new things and training and doing this cycle ride and being in new places every day, it'll be a bit easier for me. Um, but anyway, yeah, thanks for being patient guys. Thanks for continuing to watch my videos. Um, YouTube is a difficult uh, platform to, I guess, stay relevant on or or stay as, uh, to keep you guys as interested in what I'm doing and my life and, you know. Um, but if you are and you're still watching after all these years, thank you so much, I appreciate it, I really do. And uh, if you aren't tuning in every day or aren't getting notifications, uh, I never normally do this guys, but it does feel like YouTube are kind of throttling who sees the videos and they kind of decide who sees them. So do click the notification bell and make sure you're subscribed and um, yeah, watch the videos. Let me know in the comments what you like and dislike so I can kind of try and cater my content to be more watchable. Um, I was thinking maybe of reducing the vlog length down a little bit because they often creep above 15 minutes and sometimes people haven't got 15 minutes to watch a video. So that's one idea I had, maybe get the videos down to like eight minutes or something. 
Um, another thing, if you didn't have time to check out a lot of the safari, live the adventure trip vlogs, Raya has just made an epic video of the entire trip. Um, all the best shots, um, really summarizes the video well, um, summarizes the trip well. So uh, you can go and watch that now, check it out. Um, yeah, like I said, it's amazing. And uh, she's put a lot of hard work into it. And I know you guys love us, so um, yeah, awesome, thanks. And I will catch you in London tomorrow. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.